Hi guys, today we will sketch and I will talk about what tools and techniques I use in Photoshop using a quick sketch as an example. Of course, the tools that are always in use are the brush and the razor. The rest of the tools are auxiliary. Like the transform, I just used to reset the car on the canvas. The hotkey is Ctrl plus T. For it, additional actions are possible by holding Shift and Alt. Also, additional options through the right pen button. And in general, my most used tools are now on the screen. Next, I use a round selection, create a new layer and fill our selection. After I drag it horizontally, holding down the shift key, fill it, hide the layer. Holding the control key, move the cursor over the layer with our ellipses and click. So we create the selection according to the already prepared forms. Then I create another new layer. I will paint on it. For now I keep the line and color layers separate. Then I will combine them. And let's work with the lasso. There are three options to choose from. Today we will work only with the first two. Quick change lasso, shift plus L. In general a quick change of all the tools of one group is carried out through the shift key. I will leave a link in the description to the Adobe site where indicate all the hot case on Photoshop. And now I will show the technique for inserting wheels. We take a photo of the car, preferably from our perspective, select the wheel through the round selection. Pointwise move using the arrows on the keyboard. Press Ctrl plus J. We have just cut out the wheel on a new layer. We don't need the old one, it can be hidden or deleted. Now transform the wheel into an arch. Duplicate through the same Ctrl plus J on a new layer and move to the front. By pressing Ctrl plus T and then right clicking, we choose to flip horizontal. Since our wheels have a small angle, we turn them in the direction of perspective, and the perspective lines are now directed towards the center of the car. Then I hit Ctrl plus E to merge the layers. I slightly change the size of the rear wheel and then create a new layer. Here I will use the pen tool. The principle is similar to the lasso, only with more control. Using the path tool, you can drag the entire contour, and using the direct tool, only selected vertex. After that, we can create a vector mask. It allows us to work in our area, and we can change it at any time. It will adapt. Next, I paint over the area and move to a new layer. Through the control, I select our area and lay down the tone.
color panel. I usually use the color wheel when working with color and the brightness cube when working in the gray range. For quick color matching I use an eyedropper tool. When I paint with a brush I hold down the alt and pick the color on the canvas that I need. Then another new layer. I highlight our blanks with arches. Next I apply a stroke. A very useful feature. It uh, allows us to quickly draw strokes of any size and color. In this case I am choosing the stroke outside. Hand tool. I constantly use it to move the canvas in the working field of Photoshop, sometimes in combination with rotation. Hotkey is just holding the space. Another one is zoom. Space plus control increase. Space plus alt decrease. The crop tool is good for quickly resizing the canvas. We have a side view, so it's better to use a widescreen. The arrows on the keyboard allow us to make fine adjustments. Then quickly paint. So. Horizontal flip. By default, if I remember correctly, nothing is assigned there. Therefore, we go to Edit, Keyboard Shortcuts. Here we are looking for our menu view and the flip horizontal. Press any key combination you want, in my case, Ctrl plus Shift plus X, and confirm the change. The next function is Liquify. It allows us to deform the image layer. For example, slightly bend the wheels in board to show a perspective contraction. It works well in a three-quarter view. In a side view it is not so relevant, but I showed you. Another quick painting step. I use a pen. This time I don't create a vector mask, but I use a quick selection. Further, the principle is the same as with the last one. I create a new layer, fill it, hide the layer. I will use it for selections, merge unnecessary layers. Now I pressed Ctrl plus Shift plus I. This is inversion. And now I can draw outside of the original selection. Next step, I hold Ctrl and Alt in order to cut out the area that is on the layer I need. In this case, circles for arches. I invert the selection again and paint inside.
lock the layer by clicking the checkered square. Now I can only paint over the already painted spot in this layer. A very useful thing. I don't need it yet, but I will use it later. I select the body of the car through control, hold control plus alt, then click on the layer. I cut out the area inside selection with another layer. If you have a second monitor, I advise you to duplicate your canvas window on it. Its size should be somewhere around one fourth the size of the monitor, so you can always fully control what happens to your sketch. Because the navigator window I have on the left is slightly distorting the image. By the way, if press the F key, then the Photoshop interface will go into full screen mode. Personally, it's more convenient for me to work this way. And again, I speed up the process as I use the previously discussed tricks.
Here I merge our vector mask with the top layer. Ctrl plus E is a hotkey.
clipping mask. It allows us to draw on the bottom layer without going beyond its borders and without changing it. You can quickly create such a layer by checking the box while the menu is displayed. Here I am using hue to lighten the wheels a bit. It seemed to me that they take on too much tension. Levels. Control plus L. With it, I make the work a little more contrasting. Here I'm using hue to completely discolor the car, because I see that there is color in some places. The front bumper decided to darken a little with the help of lightness. In the end, I decided to replace the rims. Take a photo, after that need to rasterize the layer so that it can be edited. Now I use the magic wand tool to quickly select areas of the same color and delete them. I shrink the rim. Circle selection, transform it, invert the selection and delete the excess. Next, the process of inserting the wheel is repeated as at the beginning of the video. During this process, I clean up the layers, create two groups in layers for the front and the reveals. I do the finishing touches and that's it, a relatively quick sketch is ready. I showed my basic tools and techniques, in most cases they are sufficient, 
some of the tricks I may be more detailed in the next videos. And write in the comments what you think about it guys. Ask questions if something is unclear or interesting. Thank you for your attention and bye.